Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Taft uh, widget Elementor totally for free. So if you want to use the dashboard of the actual WordPress totally for free, there's actually two ways, there's actually one thing, two things that you have to do in order to do that. What you want to do is to have an account here into paintheon.io. I'm going to click to add that in here and what I want to do is to have my account in here once you have your account what you want to do is to start creating your own very first website in order to actually um, make the development of the website you have to pay for the actual complete full price of the actual um, Elementor. So we do have the server version which in that case that would be the free version and here are a lot of uh, much more stuff but here I just want to focus into the free version so once you don't have an account it's going to be asking you for going to the site and here into sites you want to create your first account you want to create your very first website once you can create your very first website that appears in here just click into them select wordpress and then you just need to wait till the dashboard already lets you in so get into the visit development side and it's going to be sending you boom in here into the wordpress so as you can see we're now inside here if i go into the plugins uh, what I want to do is to look out for a new plugin. So what I want to do is to go for the inactive, go into the add new. And here, what you want to do is to look out for the one that's going to be helping us for this tutorial, which is the Elementor. So here is the Elementor website builder. What I want to use is the install now, like this. And it says installing. So um, it's just really easy to have the Elementor website builder um, already been installed it you want to actually activate, activate that in order to use it so once you do have everything successfully done you want to create your account here into uh, Elementor so what I want to do is to go into the X mark here I want to just provide my actual email like this hit into my email I want to choose a passcode and hit into continue uh, just for you to understand that it's really, really easy. I'm going to hit into connect so I can make the full installation of the Elementor. And now this is the very um, amazing part of um, I'm going to hit into skipped. Uh, let's give your site a name, text express. I'm going to hit into skipped once again. If you want to add a media library, you can do that. In my case, I'm going to skip this part. And here, I want to choose edit a blank canvas with the Elementor editor like this or you can browse a more than 100 templates that are totally for free if you want to check it out that so once we are here into the elementor what we want to do here is to go into the widgets so as you can see here are all the widgets that we can use what we need to do of course is just to drag and drop which is actually the very first um, easy way to do this we are actually using the basic option so here what i want to do is to look out for the actual tab so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to look out for tapped and here as you can see we do have tabs. So I'm going to select this option and I'm going to leave my mouse clicked until I just choose the option that says drag to what's here and boom here's my tab already being created. So here to elemental number 6 what I want to do is to select this actual text. If you want to change that here want to choose this option and here what we can do is to start to lay out our stuff uh, what I want to do here is to actually let's say I'm gonna just focus into one tab let's say for example that we are using the let's say I'm gonna go into blocks like this I'm gonna use a bold here I'm gonna leave that into the paragraph and into text what i want to do is to change the actual style of my of my text that appears in here so six active color you want to change that into black color you want to leave that in here like that there we go and we have the typography if you want to change that you can do it. in my case i think it's going to be great to have that but once you do have the first option i think it's going to be much more easier just to duplicate it like that and actually I'm going to delete this because I think that I need to change the highlighted color of my element for example I'm going to go for this one there we go so once again just go into duplicate here into blocks I'm going to type something like about, about us I'm going to go into duplicate exactly the same thing like this 
in here into about us let's say i'm gonna type contact us like this and i'm gonna do exactly the same thing and down in here i want to look out for contact us and change that for the faq section so it's really easy to do that once i finish that i want to go into the style i'm going to click this option so i can edit the whole process of this here into the wet you can change that let's say like this and here into the columns i'm going to just go into the narrow there we go and here you want to enable the stretch selection so we can have like more space here into our actual uh, style here and the structure i believe that this is accurate i'm going to leave it like that here into style if i want to change the background overlay i can do that so let's say for example that i want to choose a classic color or some gradient color for example i want to choose the white color and this one the second one i'm going to leave it like that and i want to use the same color that i just selected into my actual elements for example let's say this one like that there you go so um, this is how we can do this guys what i want to do lastly if you want to just stretch this a little bit i'm going to go into the edit column and here have the horizontal aligned uh, you would want to choose the actual space between spaces around i think that this one is um, more than enough so that totally depends into what are you trying to create here into your into your website so once you finish that once you finished that uh, what i want to do is just to hit into the x mark like this i'm going to tap into publish there we go and here i'm going to hit into have a look so i'm going to just take a look into how is looking my actual uh widget tab so i'm going to click in here and as you can see this one has no changes because it's exactly the same uh title here so you don't have to worry about that so here into blocks i'm going to delete this and i'm going to type this is an example of a blocked the about us change that like this this is more info about us dot feel free to contact i'm going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine zero all right and here into the fiq what is this this is an example i mean this is just to make sure that i'm having the right uh, items here into my blocks i'm going to click in here to blocks this is an example of a block like that there we go so lastly go into the update and here i want to go back here into the element during one to reload the page and boom this is an example of a block, the about us, the contact us, and the FIQ. So this is how we can make use of the great widget of the actual um, WordPress and the Elementor. We now are good to go and we are now good to create a lot of steps here into our actual uh, website. So thank you so much for watching the video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully this was very useful for you. And well guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have lots of fun. See you soon.